Well, one of the big pluses of uh, renewable energy is it doesn't take any water to generate electricity. So we could really reduce the energy, uh, the water footprint of the energy sector by uh, changing more of our uh, electricity uh, generation over to renewables. So that would be a huge water savings all by itself. Um, we'd also reduce contamination because obviously coal, uh, when it's burned, emits a lot of mercury and the mercury gets into the water and the food system and you know it's a very bad pollutant. So that has to be cleaned before we can use the water for drinking. So we'd avoid that problem as well. Um, similar situation for nuclear because sometimes some of the nuclear particles uh, don't stay in the nuclear plant, they end up in the waterway. Um, so we have a much better use of water by using uh, renewable energy and we reduce the amount of pollution in the, in the environment. So black water is uh, sewage. Uh, gray water is what comes out of uh, your shower. Um, so black water has to be particularly treated uh, because it's, uh, you know, it may have bacteria and other things. Whereas gray water from your shower or from your washing dishes that can be reused to put on your plants for water your garden, water your lawn. Uh, a lot of places around the world use gray water. They have two separate systems in their, uh, uh, in their sewage system where they can reuse uh, gray water. Some places now are doing quick treatments of black water and using that water, uh, so, so sewer water, and using that to uh, water things like golf courses. Um, we all, uh, and places that are dry, like California, actually has uh, some separate uh, systems where they can use their gray water. I mean, you can do it yourself. Uh, you know, you just empty out your sink with a bucket um, and, uh, you know, use it to feed your plants.